Loss of smell and taste, shortness of breath and fatigue, common symptoms for COVID long haulers. No cure for it yet, but a group of researchers coming together now in hopes of changing that. Long COVID researchers, uh, Ashok Gupta, along with Dr. Tina Pierce joining us this morning, and you guys are joining us from London. Thanks so much for being part of our show. Yeah, thank you for the invite. Ashok, let's start with you. Why don't we start off by explaining what is long COVID and why is it so important for us to know how it works and how to treat it? Yes, well, uh, long COVID, we describe it as the hidden pandemic, where what we're finding is hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people are contracting COVID-19, but the symptoms are then persisting for weeks and months. And we have patients who've had it for 12 to 14 months, right from the beginning of the pandemic. And as you said, there's a number of different symptoms, the common one being extreme exhaustion, headaches, uh, brain fog, breathlessness, and a whole range of different symptoms individual to each person. Let's talk a little bit about your background and how you shifted your focus to long COVID. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've been treating uh, chronic illnesses like ME, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, mold illness, these kind of chronic illnesses which traditional medicine finds it quite difficult to treat. And we believe a lot of these illnesses, including long haul COVID, are actually caused by the brain going into an altered state. So almost like we, we have that pressure of the virus, and even once the virus has passed, the brain has actually got stuck in a process of overstimulating the nervous system and the immune system, creating symptoms in the body. Right. And so we have a, a lot of experience of treating those types of illnesses. And now we're having a flood of patients coming to our clinic for what we call neuroplasticity or brain retraining techniques. I want to bring Dr. Piers into the conversation here. Can you tell us a little bit about what's being called the TLC conference and what that stands for is treat long COVID. Right. Tell us about this conference. Well, thank you. Um, yes, the at the conference, we're bringing together some key opinion leaders, researchers and clinicians who will share with everyone their, uh, what they have learned and the knowledge they've gained in treating patients with long COVID. Um, and this is you know, a new healthcare emergency that we're all facing. So we thought we'd bring them together onto the same platform so they could discuss their research, their findings, and what is actually working when we do treat these patients. I know your background is more in women's health, menopause. So, so how, do you, how do you shift your focus to something like long COVID? That's a very good question. So um, six years ago, I made the, my a diagnosis in my youngest daughter with, uh, who had, who's, who'd been very ill for all her life, really. And uh, mm. I diagnosed her with mast cell activation syndrome. And so I became very interested in that condition. So for the last six years, I've been treating patients with mast cell activation. And then when I heard about long COVID and the symptoms that people were struggling with, I just recognized mast cell activation in these patients. And uh, so I started to um, open a, a long COVID clinic so that I could help these patients as well. And now I've seen over 70 patients with long COVID and they are all getting better. Oh, that's fascinating. Um, Ashok, I want to go back to you. Uh, you. You mentioned the term neuroplasticity. What, what exactly is that and how does it relate to, to treating long COVID? Uh, yes, neuroplasticity is this idea that our brains are not fixed. The wiring can be changed. So let's say we go through an emotional experience or a physiological experience. Um, that might create an effect in the brain, which then stays stuck. And we might think we're going to have something for the rest of our lives, such as these chronic illnesses. But neuroplasticity gives us hope. It says the brain is constantly rewiring itself, constantly resetting itself. And if we can take advantage of those systems and processes, then we can heal the body from so many different conditions. So once again, it's the idea that and it's, it is a hypothesis, it's not proven yet, but the idea that potentially uh, long COVID may have at its root uh, a malfunction in the unconscious brain, specifically the amygdala and insular parts of the brain, and that somehow we can rewire those back to health. And we're beginning to see those results. Dr. Piers, we'll end with you here. We got about 30 seconds left, but what are you hoping people walk away with from this TLC conference and tell us when it begins and uh, what people can expect the, the big takeaway to be? Okay, so it's going to be the 19th and 20th of June in the morning, your time. And uh, we're hoping that it's going to give them a real insight into how it can be treated, what research is going on, what we do know about it. Um, and so they have hope and they can see the protocols that we're using as well. So we're going to share all of that for everybody to help them get better. Dr. Piers and Ashok, thank you so much for your time here this morning. We really appreciate your insight on this. Great. Thank you so much.